Welcome to Electron Online. Starting with this video, we're going to see some examples of how we can put, take an input like this and express it as a sum of basically, or mostly, unit step functions and RAM functions. And of course, in this particular case, you're not going to need any RAM functions. You can simply do it by a sum of unit step functions. Well, first we want to take care of the first two seconds right here. If we assume that the units here are in seconds, for the first two seconds, we have an input of magnitude 5. So for that, for f of t is going to be equal to 5 times the unit step function at time equal 0. It's going to start at that point, and that will take care of the first one right here. So we have a unit step function at time equals 0, so we have no offset on the time, and the magnitude is 5. Of course, that would give us a amplitude of 5 forever, for eternity, and it's only supposed to be like that for the first two seconds. So then we need to add another step function to first negate the first one, and then we have to have a negative input, or in other words, a minus 5 amplitude input for the next three seconds. So that can be accomplished by saying minus 10 minus 5 to get rid of the first 5, and then another minus 5 to get the additional negative 5 amplitude. So we have negative 10 of the unit step function, but now we need to be offset by 2 seconds. So we have t minus 2 seconds. And then finally, after 5 seconds, we want to get back to 0, which means to go from minus 5 to 0, we have to add five, an amplitude of 5, starting at time equals 5 seconds. So it would be plus 5, times the unit step function at t minus 5 seconds. And that, in combination, is exactly representative of what we have over here. Now that can be simplified by factoring out a 5, and so we can say that the function f of t can be written as 5 times the unit step function at t minus 2 times the unit step function at t minus 2, plus the unit step function at t minus 5. And that will then be the representative of what we have here as an input function. So actually, once you get the hang of it, it's not that difficult. 